Hey, how are you guys doing today? Hey, everybody. It's the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And uh, we're going to be perfectly honest with you here, guys. Um, we tried to do an episode, and uh, it didn't work out too well for us. Um, yeah. Like, at all. Uh, things kind of failed. Things kind of fell apart. So what Technical we're going to do... difficulties once again. Yeah, we're, we're used to it by now. Um, but it does get a little bit old, especially yeah. when, you know, we lose an entire episode to something silly. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube, you can see the Destiny 2 Shadowkeep title screen right now, obviously. Um, if you're listening, you can probably hear a little bit of the Destiny music in the background. Luke and I are going to sit here and try to play Destiny 2 and do a legit episode. Um... So it probably won't be that great. Uh, you know, as if anything we do is that great. But, um, yeah. you know, we're, we're experts. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, That's what we tell ourselves. We're professional. It's not. <laughs> we're, we're total professionals. Um, but you're going to get to see me adapting and trying to get some stuff right um, and you also get to see just how much I suck at Destiny 2. So that'll be fun. Because <laughs> um, you'll be seeing it from my perspective. Uh, I don't have... We don't really have the time, so I could help Luke get this set up on his end so we could, like, splice videos together, but whatever. Yeah, that, I mean, it's, like, even further along than we'd normally be done recording and, like, you'd be able to start editing. Stuff. Oh, yeah, like, right around this time, it's just about 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, when we always record on Fridays. Um, under On a normal day, by now, um, I would have had everything uploading. So, it's, it's actually super annoying. Um, but whatever, we'll get through this. Like I said, we're professionals. We got this. Um, we're recording over Discord in case you haven't figured it out. So if Luke sounds a little bit weird or if there's a little bit more noise and echo and no normal on my end, can't really help that. Yeah. Um, but we'll get through this together, guys. Just just don't worry. Um, don't hate us. Or do. Whatever. You know, uh, yeah, we whatever can. gets you talking about us. <laughs> whatever gets people laughing and making fun of us. You know, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Let's, uh, let's yeah. see here. I'm a little bit annoyed, uh, if I'm being honest with you, um, with OBS and, like, the way I do my remote control on OBS because it's not working while I yeah. don't have uh, things in focus or whatever. But, you know, once again, we'll get through it. We'll be fine. <laughs> so I'm going to adjust some things here to make sure that the sound of the game doesn't eclipse us. And it just might. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> that, that would be bad. Yeah. Like, I... It's just really like the game could be really loud. And I found out back when I streamed that I had to turn a lot of things down. And and I don't know, I never quite got a balance struck perfectly between game audio, which people apparently wanted to hear and yeah. us being goofballs on on the thing. So whatever. And then again, that's streaming rather than, you know, recording a half ass podcast. Right, right. Of course. But anyway. Um, are we going to play together? Are we going to do some co-op stuff? Oh, we can. I'm going through the story right now. And I got to say, like, wow, they really, really push like the uh, this is depressing. You are sad now. <laughs> <laughs> the intro of the game. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. Fucking dramatic much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I guess so. I mean, the beginning of this game pretty much is like eh, you lose. Now everyone's uh, stuck without their powers, having to fight. Like, way to go, dummy. Why do you got to be so it's, mean? It's a little frustrating. I guess it's it's the opposite. Uh, the Destiny games are kind of the opposite of uh, the humanity fuck yeah trope online. Right. Which where I kind of like. like. Yeah. Humanity is, you know, a, a power in the uh, in space or whatever. 
uh, in this without the light and without the power from the, um, the guardian traveler. or whatever. The traveler, yeah. You have like no chance of winning. Everyone's just dying. So like right now, it's like everyone forgot how to use their fucking guns. I don't know what to do. All right, so right now, um, I'm on like I, I have a mission in the EDZ that I'm going to try to do um, while you yeah. do that because I'm not quite. I don't want to do that. I don't know. I don't want to do that on on stream. I guess or on recording, whatever. Um, and I'm looking at just how many uh, hid lost sectors there are on Earth. There's like yeah. like ten or fifteen lost sectors here, yeah. and I've discovered three. <laughs> I know, I think I've got them all, but I keep on getting the, uh, I've noticed when I go to new planets and stuff, um, I keep getting the lost sector, like challenge thing complete. Like you've done all the lost sectors when I've done like one. It's amazing. Yeah. There's 13 lost sectors, uh, that I haven't discovered in the EDZ and I'm just like, what the fuck? Why? Yeah. Uh, uh, some there are like they don't mention, but there are lost sectors that don't get marked on the map. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. All right. So, do we want to talk about some things real quick that I, mean, I know? Yeah, we can talk about stuff. While while we sit here and and dick about on on Destiny and whatever. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. We did have stories we talked about, guys. We did, and it was they were fun and amazing and. I'm um, upset now. The, uh, the tattoo guy, that one. Oh my god! Yeah. All right. So I hate uh, it, but at the same time, I kind of love it. There's a guy in Illinois, guys. Um, his name is Matthew, something or another. It starts with a B. I don't remember exactly now. Um, Matty B. <laughs> yeah, Matty B. And what he had done was, he got arrested in like a forgery case or whatever, and sat there and gave the cops a false name and date of birth while having his name tattooed on his throat. Yeah. Like, why Why would you do that when you have your name on your face, like on your body in a highly visible spot? You know, like, what, what are you retarded? I don't, I don't get it. Um... But yeah, it's it's like, dude, what is wrong with you? What are you what are you thinking that's really gonna do? You're lying to the police and you're telling them you're giving them a false name while your name is tattooed on your throat. While you're under arrest for, for forgery. Forgery. <laughs> for lying. <laughs> it's like uh Lots of irony. Like in his defense, the the name he has tattooed on his throat was Matty B. Right. Which is not exactly. Yeah, it's not exact. But but like the only thing that like really makes me go, okay, maybe is the fact that he has a warrant out in Peoria County, like an active yeah. warrant for his arrest. But it's like you you've been caught. There is yeah, no. Why are you lying at this point? Yeah, there is no getting out of it. Like, what? What if you gave a name that exists in their database for a person, right? And now you're like, oh, you're a you're a a black woman from Mississippi. Is that is that what I'm supposed to believe here? I just I don't I don't get what he was trying to accomplish, and it doesn't work. Oh, I died. Um, it's just you're you're dumb, and just just God. <laughs> and then, all right. So that's that's one news yeah. that was stupid that, that made us giggle and just go why. Um, what what was the other one? Oh, the AT and T thing, where AT and T in Portland, Oregon, had been charging people a fee to pay for a corporate tax that they didn't have to pay. Um. <laughs> Portland has a thing like the Clean Energy Initiative where they charge a 1% sales tax on goods and services and stuff in in the region. But there are certain types of services and corporations that are exempt from it. AT&T, the wireless company specifically in this instance, is number seven on that list of companies that are exempt from this tax. So they had been charging people to cover that tax. 
Now, granted, it had been really low amounts. Um, we're talking one or one percent. So we're talking like literally nickels, uh, quarters, really low amounts of money. Yeah, per and bill, but on an entire bill. city's worth of people. Right. You know, you, you've got let's say if they've got five hundred thousand subscribers in the Portland area, you know, like that's that's a lot of money. And it's just, uh, it's one of those things where it's like, why you do this? So they did announce, like, like in their in their defense or to their credit or however, because I don't know if I really want to give them any sort of defense. Um, they are refunding the customers who were charged that. Um, but it's like, you know, you're, you're dumb. Fuck you guys. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I do know that they apparently also charge some customers in some states a percentage of fee to cover their property tax, which is, yeah. you know, just more shadiness on top of shittiness on top of it be, just being AT&T in general. Like, she doesn't surprise it. it it's free money. They, they say it is free money eventually. And I'm sure it's free real uh, estate. I, you know, I, I guess I could say I'm sure. I don't know if it's the case where they didn't give the money back until they were caught, but right. they did start refunding people their money. Um, but there's still a lawsuit out against them for it. Yep, there's a lawsuit that great. seeks um, up to two hundred dollars per customer, and I'm like, mm -hmm. good, because fuck AT and T. I hope that that lawsuit is successful and that they win. And that someone has to sit there and uh, pay them that. You know, they, they have to pony up that two hundred dollars per affected customer. Mm -hmm. I mean, that it probably won't. And if they do, if it does like work out, and they do, it'll they'll probably find a way to, you know, skirt their skid out of it or something. But you know, for now, I hope it does happen. Yeah, for all the other shitty stuff they do and have done and continue to do. Like just being a company that exists. That yeah, then fighting to make the FCC uh, give them everything. Yeah. Regulate the internet. That's just all this shit. SOPA and PIPA and shit like that, basically. Yep. Yeah. PIPAs. Yeah. PIPAs. Yeah. <laughs> that whole thing, man. I'm. I'm the fact that we've lost net neutrality, you know, that, that, that's bothersome. Yeah. Um, hopefully, like, in the next few years, we can get it back and get that reinstated, but who knows. It's kind of a fucking crazy place right now. I mean, Donald Trump is president, you know, what, what are we going to do? <laughs> uh, a reality TV star who whose every businesses have failed is, is somehow president, you know? <laughs> I mean, that... Uh, uh, it's more and more a popularity contest. I mean, it's at this point, it just almost makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. It's it's, it's like unavoidable. Yeah, it's just pretty ridiculous. much. I am not doing very well at Destiny Two right now. <laughs> I, I guess I'm still not to the point where I have my light back, but I'm not gonna play this campaign shit anymore because this is, this is goddamn boring. <laughs> Let's just go kill really shit. Honest. Let's do, do, let's do all this stuff. Let's see. How the fuck do I get out of it, though? Uh, I, just, but, I don't know. Exit? Yeah. Um, that's interesting, though. Oh, oh no. I died again. I, I should probably say, though, just like, focus on the mission. <laughs> since we've started playing this game, and it did come out, uh, like, last week, um, Bungie getting away from Activision was, like, the best thing they could have ever done. Oh, yeah, uh, for sure. Putting man. this game on Steam, making it free to play, mm -hmm. uh, and then just selling the, the two DLC packs, and they have their, their cosmetic stuff. Um, Which, I mean, I, I still don't like cos like I, I don't like microtransactions. Don't like microtransactions, period, yeah. yeah. But at least it's not, you can still earn different stuff in game. Um, there's a type of currency you earn in game that can be used to buy some of the stuff. Uh, and it's stuff that you can ignore. Yeah. Like 
you know, Destiny has its little, its silver, which is its premium currency for buying these mm-hmm. things. And, like, it is 100,000% optional. There, like, like, aside from me just randomly going up to, like, the vendor that accepts silver, I've never really seen it referenced anywhere in-game. Yeah, they don't advertise. They, they they do the thing that other games have found. Like, if they their advertising is, like, the players who have bought the stuff, they can use that as their advertising, essentially, when you're in the hub world and things. But other than that, they don't put it in your face very much. Yeah, like I, I like I said, I've seriously not seen any references made to it in game beyond me walking up to the Eververse chick every now and then, mm-hmm. which I don't know why I do. I don't I don't know what's going to change. I don't know what's going to be different. But fucking every now and then, I just walk up to her. Hey, how you doing? What's the, the Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Never mind. <laughs> you know, I think it's because um, <clears throat> the the one thing that you do have to even go there for. S- sometimes are when you get certain engrams that have legacy content yeah yeah like i did that, pick uh, up a nostalgia engram yeah. which i had to go to her to decode rather than uh what's his face mm-hmm. the crypt arch raul oh god don't go down there that's probably death but otherwise um, yeah you don't have to deal with that shit yeah at all if you don't want to and it's it's it is really nice that they make that 100 percent optional share bit of fresh air if you will yep let's see oh man all right but what were some other things that we talked about um before we lost everything Um, (laughs) basically yes we got into a little bit where we talked about the um specific speaking of activism blizzard um the stuff with china and freedom of speech and companies that say they're for human rights and freedom of speech and want to protect that and blah, 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 and then do the opposite. Yeah, they turn um, around and they, they bend over for China yeah, because, because money. China controls what their people can consume. Right. And, and the corporations in China are more than happy to go along with the government. And if you say anything bad about the Chinese government – or criticize them or anything they've done, even remotely, they will like excommunicate you, wipe you out. Like your shit doesn't exist. It's not allowed. They tip pull all of their backing and funding and whatever uh, immediately, which is something the uh, NBA is dealing with right now. Yep. Someone made a tweet uh, and they went, nope, pulled uh, pulled like everything. It's crazy. It is like, and it's also kind of sad that you have a U.S. corporation doing that. You know, yeah. Like, like it's U.S. Like we said where it's we hilarious. have, yeah. It's sad. It's like, you know, ultimately, a, a capitalist company that is bending over backwards for a, fucking a communist commun- regime. Regime. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like just what the fuck happened? What 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 happened to us? You know, like. Yeah. Did our balls drop off or something? Did we did we just suddenly become pussies? I don't I don't know. Like it, it's it's just it's really super annoying that we decided to bend down. America first stuff, right? Right. Yeah. Well, like what happened to that? What happened to America being the land of freedom and the land of human rights, right to ex- free expression and no. I mean, all of that stops when money becomes a. For these companies yeah and that's exactly the case with with uh the uh nba it's the case with fucking activision blizzard um which, oh oh shit i died i fell uh, i'm doing the risk reward mission right now and i have to destroy this dusk walker thing and this thing is giant and i am completely alone and it just pretty much one shots me <laughs> oh shit yeah, like like it's missile, like it has this this just big missile that hits and does so much damage. <laughs> I don't remember. I think I've done risk reward, but yeah, that was one of the big things we talked about. It's kind of been news. Um, I don't know so much. Like in our circle, obviously, we tend to pay attention to the video game stuff. Yeah. Um, and anytime Activision does something shitty. 
Um, that never surprises and never gets old. It's just, it's just kind of sad. Yeah. You know, like, like I said, it's this American company bowing down to a communist regime, yeah. censoring people. And it's the same thing with like the NBA, you know, with the GM's the Rockets uh, GM, I believe it was tweeting in support of Hong Kong and its right to free speech, its right to be free, it, the right for its people to, you know, not have their organs harvested, which of course he didn't go in depth of that. He basically just sent out a very simple tweet in support of their protest. And that was enough for, I guess, everything to melt the fuck down. You've got people like LeBron James looking completely uh, hypocritical because LeBron James is one of those guys who is who's, who has been in support of a lot of social issues out there. And now he's like, oh, no, no, uh, this dude's misinformed. No, he's yeah. fucking not. You're just <sighs> like he, they you, basically are calling all of the news reports and everything that's come out from. Hong Kong. That, oh no, it's lying. The Chinese government's not that bad. There's no, they don't. What are you talking about? They don't control everything. Yeah, no, they they kind of do. Like yeah. they they there is the thing known as a Great Firewall, where China can literally say, "Oh, you you're not allowed to look at this. You, you don't get to see that this exists on the internet," and they can mm -hmm. block entire regions of the internet. Like they can block. Chinese citizens from looking at Facebook. They could block, block Chinese citizens from viewing pornography. You know, like like everything is under their control. And anybody who thinks under, otherwise, you know, you're a propagandist. You're not telling the truth. You're you're being blatantly obtuse, or you you are drinking the Kool Aid, which is like, come on, seriously. Yeah. Don't they? Uh, I mean, they they've got most websites blocked. Like, isn't there like a Chinese version of Twitter? Complete, like. Yeah, yeah. Um, WeChat, Weibo, stuff like that, where they have yeah. um, their own versions of these websites. And in yeah. order to view these websites, you need a VPN. Um, of crazy. course, because that's how crazy they are. Yeah. And I know they disallowed YouTube and other things. Um, Google's blocked in China. No, uh, Google, the search engine is not. Um, but they, oh, is it the results are? No, they the results. Yeah, the result. Google censors the results for the Chinese yeah. government. Which is like, come on, Google, what's wrong with you? I don't know. Like, it's just all these companies are sitting there and. Oh, I think I, I've almost got it defeated. <laughs> almost. I'm so close, Luke. Yeah. I think I did it. Yeah, I, I think I did it. Everybody clap for Joe. Joe did it. <laughs> now I got to find the lock gate. But anyway, yeah, it's just come on, you guys. That's, that's why I like with Destiny and Bungie and all that. Like, I'm so glad that. Whatever happened, and I should probably know this, I should probably find out, whatever happened that allowed Bungie to separate from Activision Blizzard and, and go their own way, the way they are, like, I'm so happy that it happened. Because, yeah. you know, I can play a game like Destiny, or I could play a game like, uh, I don't know, uh, are they involved at all in Halo these days? I don't think they are. No, when they split from Microsoft, um, they... Basically, that was part of the agreement. Bungie would be its own um, company and could make their own stuff. But um, Halo is now owned by or basically taken over by um, Microsoft. Yeah, they, okay. they own it. Um, I mean, which, I, you know, that that's OK. That's cool. It's really neither here nor there. Um, yeah, real quick in the. Um, Destiny talk. Uh, Zer is on Nisus, the um, peddler of strain curiosities. He sells power, like really powerful engrams and stuff. Yeah, actually, 
specifically uh, exotic engrams and armor and stuff. Oh, oh shit, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, maybe when I'm done with this mission, I should go and uh, check him out. He's got a fusion rifle here. That massive amounts of damage. I hate fusion rifles though, so I'm not buying it. Um, I'm I yeah. It's... I'm only using fusion rifles right now because I I have a, a daily bounty from Banshee to calibrate them. Oh wow. Um, he's got a pair of boots that um have an ability that gives them a uh, faster sprinting speeds. Oh. And melee attacking enemy uh, that chain damage to nearby enemies. Ooh, that's, that's nice. I'm buying those. <laughs> yeah, he charges you legendary shards. I have plenty of those. Yeah, 97 for an engram. Um, the class specific stuff, it looks like, are 23. So you can get... Uh, the boots are Titan only, I think. Um, the gauntlets are hunter gauntlets, but you get super energy for blade barrage hits and kills. Oh god, this was a mistake. <laughs> and I'll go ahead. I've got 200. I'm going to buy an engram. And I got more boots. Uh, I'm now sad. <laughs> that's okay. And you only get one a week. Oh, well, that's, that's, you know, not terrible, I guess. I wonder if I can reach this platform with my triple jump. Nope, I can't. All right, I need to figure out another way. And you know, I, 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 if there's anybody who is watching this on YouTube and is screaming at me to uh, do it right, I apologize. <laughs> Lord, I apologize. Put the pygmies in New, in New Guinea. Yeah, fuck the pygmies in New Guinea. <laughs> No, the poor pygmies. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Can I get to that? I, I guess I gotta get to this platform. Yeah, you know, like you never know. Like maybe they like no, eat I, babies or some shit. I've, yeah, it might be cannibals. Oh fuck those guys. Uh, okay, I figured out how to get to the thing, but I fucked up <laughs> and died again. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, that's life. Alright, so <laughs> Thank um, you for the chest. Anyway, uh, let's let's try to get on topic here, if we can. Yeah, topic. We're heavily distracted right now. Oh, of course, which we knew. Yeah. That's actually specifically when we recorded the first time. I said, "Eh, no, we shouldn't play Destiny. Uh, we'll get distracted." Yeah. This time I was like, "I'm playing Destiny. We can chat." <laughs> Yeah, we can just we can just bullshit. Like, yeah. I mean, uh, and I'm completely fine with that. Like, I'm so I'm I'm still just mildly. That's how it be. <laughs> yeah. No. Exactly. I'm just I'm still mildly annoyed um, by the whole situation. Oh, you know, yeah, like, no, like like it's it's really like I, I yeah, understand I mean, I that. I ended up busy last week too, so we missed last week. And then to have this week just be like, yeah, well, uh, fuck you. You still fucked up. Yeah. Like, it's just, I, like, I understand that it was, it, like, with the with the OBS thing, um, mm -hmm. it was partially my fault. So, like, I'm not completely upset by it. I'm just really annoyed and yeah. kind of disappointed. Yeah, no matter what, it's going to be frustrating. <laughs> You know, because it's like, oh, okay, that was that was me, that was my fault. But it's like, why, why is that even a thing that I should be able to do? I don't know. Oh God. So this this mission is is, is there's a lot of platforming on on this mission. Which one are you working on? Um, risk reward. Uh oh, that's um. That's, yeah, you're on uh, the intro section on the planet Earth, right? EDZ? Um, I don't, yeah, I'm in the EDZ, but yeah, 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 in the intro section, there's so much fucking platforming. Yeah, me and uh, Jake did that. Um, that, yeah. 
there were parts that were really fucking annoying there. I, I gotta say, though, I'm really kind of glad that I chose the triple jump over the high jump. Um, yeah. Up until, like, the last... This last part, I was fine. And then there's this one jump that I just... I must have failed. And it wasn't even, like... I, I, and I realized why I was failing it. It's because I was jumping, trying to jump to the wrong spot. Right. And I did it a lot. And just got really fucking pissed off. Oh god! Um, that oh, I god. happened to turn and look to my side, uh, just as Jake was finally getting over there, because apparently the warlock's jump sucks. Yeah. And I was like, by the way, don't do what I've done for the last ten minutes. Just jump over to this closer platform. <laughs> Woo. There's a few spots where, like, I hit my head, and I thought I wasn't gonna make it. There's a pipe that's in the way on one spot that I'm yeah. so glad I have the jetpack for. Oh, yeah. I just dive down below it and then hit the thrusters. Well, the one where you have to get under the wall. Oh, my God. If I didn't have the triple jump, I would have probably failed that. Yeah. I hope everybody appreciates the trouble I'm going through right now. No, actually, I, I really don't. I, I really don't hope any, I, you know. Oh, how am I supposed to do this one? Interesting. There's no other. Oh, I see the platform to jump to. Never mind. I thought I was going to have to jump out and then jump around a platform, but no, I'm good. All right. Cool, I got the Risk Runner. Nice. Now I have to enter the Fallen Nest. It is an exotic sidearm. Nope, submachine gun. It is fucking awesome. I'm gonna try it out. I don't typically care for submachine guns. <laughs> but... It's one know. of the better guns in the game, to be honest. Oh, wow. This is a hell of a drop right here. <laughs> Use the boost, Chase. All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> that fucking drop, man. After you get that. Mm -hmm. All right. This is actually kind of cool. Do I not have to reload this weapon? Um, so it has an ability where it shoots out this static, this electric charge all around you. Yeah. And it randomly doesn't need to reload when it's doing that. It'll automatically reload the magazine. Oh, that is... So you can just... So I've fought bosses where while that's happening, and as it kills, I think it can make it last a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, I've fought bosses where I just sat there holding the trigger down and everything around me was dying. And I just chunked away the boss's health just using that gun. Yeah, no, I I really like this. Yep. It's I like I awesome. really wish like this it. weapon was a uh wasn't a secondary slot cuz you know, I can't use my bow. Yeah. But at the same time, oh, that gun plus like a uh good um scout rifle and your primary weapon slot. It's fucking bananas. All right, so yeah. any any other topics that we might want to discuss? I don't remember. We talked about. Uh, did we talk about Red Dead coming out? So uh, no, actually, I don't think we did. We must have forgot, or I forgot completely. Yeah, Red Dead's finally coming out for PC. Um, okay, for some reason, I just stuff. went back to orbit. <laughs> so. That's that's uh, and of course it looks amazing, which is right. no surprise. That game looks amazing on all the consoles and everything else, so it should damn well look good in 4K on PC. Yeah, no, for sure, man. Like, if not, um, I think we would reserve to right to a uh, riot at that point. Yeah, riot and attack Bungie. Yeah, or no, I'm um, sorry, no, no, Bungie. no. We love Bungie. Uh, Bungie is great. They, they, yeah. 
Fuck you, 2K. Is it 2K? Rockstar. Rockstar, yeah. yeah. Take two, not 2K. Take, Take two. two. You're right, yeah. Burn their headquarters down. They fucked Burn it up. Burn them. <laughs> I don't know how you fucked it up, but you fucked it up. <clears throat> that one looks cool. So does Red Dead... Red Dead uses the GTA engine, doesn't it? Or am I wrong? Uh, GTA what 5... If- I think they might have come up with a new engine for it. I mean, because that's insane if they did, right? You sit there and you think about, like, what GTA 5 does and, like, what its engine is capable of. And then you sit there and you look at all the shit you can do in, in Red Dead Redemption from, you know, the skinning of animals and, and, like, rooting of pockets and how there's, like, an animation that you have to sit through for every one of those things, which, of course, is tedious and mind- and stupid. But at the same time, it's, it's one of those things that's so over the top you have to think – why what the fuck did they do to achieve this you know i I don't know i find it um i find it amazing and incredible and fun and maybe that's just me but like jesus christ dude gta was gta 5 was amazing (laughs) yeah um and of course like i've said I, i talked about it a lot when i was playing the game on um xbox one red dead 2 it has faults but in that game is you can't not say it's a, it's truly immersive as hell yeah. when you're riding around and doing stuff and even when it's annoying the game is all fucking amazing oh shit so i i went back to the tower because i have to talk to banshee now right. and at some point i missed a prime ingram and a legendary ingram oh nice yeah so i'm i'm picking that up from the postmaster and i'm going to go talk to What's this dick face over here? Banshee. Mm-hmm. So with OBS running and recording and all that, my frames are dropping in this place. Real cool. bad or? Like, I normally get six, a consistent smooth 60. I'm yeah. getting like 40. <laughs> Same here. Destiny runs really, really well. I haven't noticed any frame drops. Oh, speaking of frame drops... I know we talked a little bit, like you had mentioned when you played um, uh, Link's Awakening. Yeah. Um, you'd notice the frame rate drops when you move from one area to the next. Yeah. And I really, because I play it on the uh, uh, docked, um, and I've noticed like once in a while I get a frame rate drop. Nothing, nothing bad on the dock. Uh, I was playing it undocked for the first time the other day. Right. When I was out uh, away from my house, and holy crap, you weren't kidding. No. Those it, were yeah. pretty big frame rate issues. Not not when you're actually like, you know, after you get into the next area or whatever, it's not bad. Right. But when you do transition for that half, like, couple half seconds there, that mm-hmm. was real bad. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Like, it, it's, it's mm-hmm. really, really like, oh. So, I yeah, was, I mean. I was pretty surprised that it uh, was like that. Yeah, like I don't, I don't play in, um, in like I, I don't think I've even played Link's Awakening in docked modes yet. Uh-huh. Um, so maybe that's something I should do. Uh, it is so good looking in docked mode. Yeah, it's just it's insane. Like yeah, the, the frame drops are like it's it's almost enough to take you out of the game. Um, almost enough to like be that immersion ruining shit. You know, at least for uh, me. yeah, a little bit. Um, at least I will give it that I, you're playing it undocked, so I still. Yeah, yeah, it's just I it's... give the game more leeway uh, already because it's like that's just how I I play undocked games. I don't feel uh, the or I, uh, handheld games. I don't feel the same way I do about um console like hard console games yeah but still it's it was really really noticeable yeah it, it's 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 rough you know yeah the game is fun uh, but you have that you have that just that extreme drop you're like oh god oh god it just takes you out of it almost yeah All right, it takes so. you because it's that the couple seconds you're running around the area and it's like okay come on I don't know. I just I was I was surprised. I know you had said it, but I didn't realize. Just yeah, how no, much. It, it's 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 pretty bad, and I'm sure. Even like, though apparently The Witcher Three. Oh works yeah. Works pretty well. 
Yeah, no, I, I, I actually watched uh, Jim Sterling's review on that, and he was showing it off, and I'm like, yeah, that isn't that terrible. Like, it's no, I, I, I don't know if that's going to be a game that I'm going to buy or not. Like, if mm-hmm. I'm being honest with you, I already have it on PC, and on PC, I could play it in 4K if I so desired. Yeah. Um, and it looks gorgeous and all that. Um, so I don't know if the novelty of playing it on, you know, the Switch on the go, which admittedly is actually a really cool idea, and it's something I am... I don't know, I'm kind of interested in, but I'm not sure if that's enough of a thing to make me buy it. Um, but I have yeah. to say, like, like it looks fine. It looks exactly how I would have expected it to, if I'm being honest with you, because, I mean, the Switch is powerful, but it's not, like, that powerful. Right, like, I I, pr- I know perfectly cap- what, what the, um, the, the chipset inside is capable of. You know, I, I have the same chipset in my Shield, tv which i absolutely adore i know it can do 4k decoding of video and stuff which is a pretty hefty thing to do i don't expect the switch to obviously perform at that level because you know of the whole it's got to work on the go thing and i know they down clock the cpu so it's not extreme blah 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 um i don't know i just it does look fine it looks fine yeah like, that's all I can really say course, about it. Nintendo is the master of making a game run super well on their uh, uh, on their hardware. Yeah, like, like so. I, I hate to draw this comparison, uh, but it is an apt comparison. Nintendo is like the Apple of the gaming world. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. with with iOS and, and in general, how they, they do things, um, like... I have to. I got to give them credit where credit is due. They have an amazing ability to make like their operating systems and stuff in general just have just be smooth as hell. Um, on on all their hardware too that they release it for. Like that's that's the incredible part about it. You yeah. know, you're you're like it might be a little bit slower, but the iPhone six. S with this latest iOS update is still going to be very, very usable. Where if you try to take an Android phone from the same era and put like Android 10 on it, um, there's no guarantee it's going to really be all that great. Mm. And so like Nintendo is kind of the same way. You look at games like Breath of the Wild, you look at games like uh, Mario Kart 8 with its enhanced everything. And you see how well they, how good they look, how well they run, and you're just like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. and I, I would never like, like, like I've seen The Witcher at its best, right? Because I can run The Witcher at its best, so I would never expect The Witcher Three to be like PC level quality, mm. but it, it is fine for what it is. Yeah. Um, so probably like getting the game to run on there at all is, is still impressive. Yeah, no, it's definitely if remarkable. It's playable, achievement. that's even more so. Yeah, especially if it's actually playable at a f- you know a fairly consistent rate, which mm-hmm. is not which is something they didn't really manage to do on more powerful systems like the PS4. Yeah. So I mean, I I don't know if I'm going to buy it, but the the initial reviews do look really good for it. Um, if I can get it for like really cheap, uh, like you know, maybe buy it off the eShop for like thirty bucks or something. Yeah. Which I mean, it, it being CD Projekt like Red is something that is very, very possible. Because you know, CD Projekt Red, like they know the value of their games, um, but they still oftentimes put their games on deep discounts. So yeah. if Nintendo, like if Nintendo allows them to keep that that sort of practice going, I could see the Witcher three on switch, which it really should have been called the switcher. uh, But I could see, (laughs) I could see the Witcher Witcher three. Yeah. The switcher three, like I could see it maybe dropping to 40, 30 bucks or whatever. And I think at that price, I could justify picking it up just to play it on the go because it is one of those games that truly is magnificent. You know, 
I think they are including the DLC with it, aren't they? Or oh they yeah, it's it called separate? it's called the complete edition. So okay, for the so sixty the bucks, complete. yeah, for the sixty bucks, you get every bit of DLC they ever released for the game. Yeah. So you're getting the the, the sixteen weekly free content updates that they did. You're getting mm-hmm. Hearts of Stone, which is still my favorite expansion of any game ever. Mm-hmm. Um, you're still getting. You're getting a uh, blood and wine, so yeah, you're getting the entirety of the game, like all of it, all of it. You're getting all of it, and that's just like, fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, CD yeah, project. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, I mean, I don't like I said, I don't know if I'm going to personally buy it. I don't know if I'm going to invest that money, but like I said, if it if it if it does drop in price to a reasonable amount. I'll probably pick it up. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it is a technical marvel. It's not one of those games you look at and go, huh, okay. You know, or maybe it is, I don't know. But it's definitely a strange game to have on the Switch. <laughs> yeah. But shows off what they want to do with the Switch, bringing more stuff, and then the companies that won't fuck with the Switch, like... Um, uh, EA won't bring a lot of their titles to the Switch, it seems like. I mean, they Call brought, like... probably won't go to the Switch. I mean, I think it's less that EA won't bring their... Because, like, you know, we do get the terrible, terrible ports of their sports games. Oh, uh, that's true. Oh, yeah. Didn't they re-release uh, an, an old version of FIFA again? Yeah, basically, the they, they took FIFA 19 um, and just released it as FIFA 20. They took the yeah. Switch version of FIFA 19 and released Which was it. already terrible. Already bad. Already really bad, too. And yeah, just, just dropped it as, as FIFA 20. That's so fucked up. But that's uh, EA. Yep. Damn, I, I am missing these guys. Like, horribly. I'm I'm just, like I said I'm trying to do my linear f- fusion rifle uh, calibration thing and I'm just yeah. shooting puds with it because fuck you they're easy oh, to kill. I I found that real quickly when I was doing it. I had just gotten a legendary one. I hate those guns. Full stop. I think they're fucking trash. I hate a gun that has to charge a shot. Right. Uh, just let me use a rocket launcher. Uh, that Absolutely. being said, I got that that challenge done really fast by doing a couple of public events where I just kept blasting into crowds with it. Yep. That, that sounds about right. Um, yeah, but yeah, no, like EA just, they, they, they totally don't want to fuck with it. Um, and that company. yeah, what I think Nintendo should do at some point, um, like for maybe a switch Two type deal, mm. um, what they could do, and you know who knows what Nintendo's going to do. Nintendo's going to Nintendo. They Nintendo might, they, going to Nintendo. That's what Nintendo going to do. Um, and they really are, like I said, they really are the Apple of the video game industry. And like, at least with the positive aspects of Apple, but also the quirky asset where they just do whatever they're going to do. They um, just do random shit sometimes. Yeah, like totally. Um, so what I could see them like doing. And maybe they will, but I think for the Switch 2, what they should probably do um, when they release it, I, and I'll give them probably another four, five years before we see it. I, I think the Switch has about six or seven years in it. Um, and maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Uh, but what I could see them them doing is... Uh, oh, I'm getting serious frame rate drops on Mars. Um what I can see them maybe doing, and or maybe not see them doing, but what I would like for them to do is to definitely use like Nvidia's Xavier chipset, mm-hmm. which is way more powerful. Like we're talking PS4, Xbox One levels of power almost. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I I would like to see them maybe try to use that. I wonder if Nintendo decides to go with the same sort of um go same way as this switch keep with the both noble and 
not mobile console. Right. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, it's Nintendo. Nintendo's always... That's the one thing Nintendo probably will do, is surprise... Like, not surprise you, because you know they're going to surprise you, but still surprise you. Yeah. By doing just some, like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, some random total shit. So anybody who's watching this right now, I apologize for how choppy this is. This is not how I normally play Destiny. Like, I... It's it's normally smooth as hell. Uh, Yeah. But whatever. Uh, Yeah, like... But yeah, you know, Nintendo they do whatever they want. They've always walked their own path. That's that's why I've always respected them. Yeah. It's why Microsoft has been more like super willing to be like, "Hey, we know you're technically competition, but I mean, they do their own thing and not so much that it doesn't feel that way. So they are willing to work and, you know, do things with them." You know, I got to say I like I kind of like the way the new Microsoft is going like the way yeah. the new path they're walking on. I, I really, I gotta say, I, I enjoy it. Um, but I've like, I'm an open source kind of guy. So did the, you see the fact that... that they're embracing open source the way they are? And the fact that they're yeah. like willing to play with Sony, willing to play with Nintendo to do things, you know, opening up cross play. And like, I, I, I like that. Did you see where apparently they announced, uh, or maybe it was their CEO, somebody said that they are finally, they're going to get away from the operating system as being like their most uh, important aspect. They're, that that's not, no longer going to be their big focus anymore? Yeah, yes, I believe so, yeah. Well, they're also going to be opening source, open sourcing part of Windows. <laughs> yeah, which is where, cool. Yeah, like, like the, like, great. yeah. The core of Windows is going to be open source, which is really cool. They're going to keep some of their stuff proprietary, of course, which is fine. Um, yeah. There are some Linux operating systems where, while Linux is is at its core, FOSS, um, not all of it is is open source. You know, Ubuntu for me comes to mind, where most of it's open source, but it does use some proprietary stuff, drivers and things like that, um, which is fine. So yeah, I I could be down with that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I I have seen that. That's like that's really cool. And like I said, the way Microsoft is embracing playing well with others. And what yeah. the hell did I walk into? Because holy shit, I'm being attacked. <laughs> like I just I go I'm on Mars. I walk through a fucking door, and there's like seventy million hive enemies just there. That's that's the way the hive works. Beating me down. Oh no! <laughs> Someone beating, died. Beating me down. <laughs> and I revived him. And then my 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 uh, reward is getting beat to hell by a bunch of knights. All right. Nah, um. Never good deed goes unpunished. Yeah. All right. And that is definitely what happened. My my good deed went punished. <laughs> oh man, I got a um, I got this scout rifle here. The other uh, one of the last times that we were playing, that's a legendary, mm-hmm. which normally I just like you know oh hey that's nice and put it away because I've got two exotic scout rifles that are fucking awesome. Right. So I normally wouldn't even bother keeping this, but it's just, it's an awesome rifle in itself and it's got explosive ammunition. Oh yeah. Which is so satisfying to use. Yeah, it is. Sends hey, enemies flying when you kill them. Where did you say that dude was on Nessus? Um, you did say Nessus, right? Yeah. Nessus, um, the Northern part of the map, uh, the watcher's grave. Okay. He's on the back of the barge. I noticed I when I was at the barge, um, the golden boat thing. Yeah. Um, I noticed that there were other player characters that all ran out and ran up into a corner and were standing around. And I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? Yeah. And I happen to walk over there and, oh, shit. <laughs> it's this douchebag. It's this guy. He's selling really cool shit. I hope he's still yeah. there because I'm heading there now. Some good shit. I got some uh, couple pairs of boots that are pretty damn good can't complain 
Actually, I can't complain. I'm kind of pissed that I got a pair of boots out of my Ingram when I already had fucking just bought boots. So you at the Watcher's Grave? Yep. All right. The big golden boat. Big golden boat. Ah, cool, cool. So everybody gets to see me, um, if he's still there, go buy some exotic shit and not get anything. <laughs> I guess he stays for a weekend, for the weekend, and then he moves the next weekend. Cool. Oh, yeah, let me claim my bounties, get some experience points. Yep. That's what I'm doing right now is turning in. Oh, bounties. shit. I just ranked up, guys. Mm-hmm. Rank. With that pass, watch your jigger season. Season pass, yeah. Season rank up. All right. I I don't know if I have anything else to really talk about at this point because we put so much into that other episode and yeah, there's stuff like we talked about modern warfare. And they're oh yeah, but their, I mean we their whole we've loot just box thing. About EA. You can't trust it. They say they're not going to do loot boxes. They're going to do season, not season pass, season um, battle pass, battle pass stuff. Just like which Fortnite, is basically like a Destiny. season pass, just different. Yeah, it's yeah. just you you rank up the season and get items. Um, we'll see. Yeah, I don't trust them. I don't trust that. Yeah, I mean it's Activision Blizzard, right? Like yeah, like what what what. You can't. They've lied can't about this them. exact thing in the past. So, a fated. Who knows? Who eat ninety-seven legendary shards for this fated Ingram? Hmm. New rocket launcher. <laughs> New rockets. Who this? Hmm. Yeah. So I. I mean, I don't. I definitely don't trust them. At all. No, we'll see after the game comes out after Ooh, a while. I got uh, a crimson good. from my exotic Ingram. Yeah, I. Is that a weapon? Yeah, it's a, a nice. pistol, it looks like. Ooh, and nice. he has Funny. a. Uh, hmm. All right. That counts for the, uh, one of the other quests I had. I don't know, maybe. I know it. Um pistol one where we got to get an exotic he nope. has a they still, uh, still need to pick up an exotic engram all right so yeah that's it guys i don't i'm i'm kind of tapped here i don't have anything else to talk about and yeah i gotta get to bed soon anyway and i'm tired yeah yeah luke's gotta get to bed i gotta edit this and, and release it blah 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 <laughs> Oh, which I'm so, like I said, I'm so disappointed that everything went down, but you know, that's life, right? So, um, hope you yeah, guys we'll enjoyed this, again. whatever. Uh, mm-hmm. so for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Yep. See y'all yeah. later. Yay. Fuck Activision. Fuck Activision. <laughs> <laughs>